Hello! Today we are solving another new puzzle. Today's puzzle is the level 4 Hanayama cast coil. It is made up of two bits, which makes me think, how hard can this one be? But we've eaten our words plenty of times before with puzzles that we think are going to be much easier than they actually are. So today we are going to find out just how hard it is. We are going to attempt to separate those two pieces and solve the puzzle we are then going to attempt to reassemble those two pieces and then at the end as always we will rank it on our easiest to hardest Hanayama scale according to me done so far so let's get straight into it so here is the coil puzzle now before we explore what movements we've got to start with let's have a quick look at the box obviously this is what we've got this is what we want to aim for and here we are, you always get like a, a little bit of a hint. So it says, it, appear, uh, it appears like a box-like lump with a hole in it, but it's actually comprised of two coiled virtually identical pieces. You must try to take it apart by sliding and rotating the pieces. Although the pieces are angular in shape, they can be rotated in unexpected ways, making their movements quite intriguing. And designed by Eddie Nagata from Japan. So the only important bit there, I think, is virtually identical pieces, which essentially means they are not identical. So, what movements do we have? Oh, it was, I expected it to be looser than this. And see on the inside, there's a few slanted bits. On the opposite side of this gold bit here, there's like an angled piece or part in the middle there. We've got the same bit just in there that you can probably see. It sort of just slopes down. Oh yes, there it is. So we can apply a little bit of force. So now all these slants and things like that, I'm guessing are going to be what enables us to make uh, like the final moves. Oh, the, sorry, not the final moves, the next moves. And from here, we can't go side to side. We can go up and down. And when we go up and down, we've got some twists, but not much. I'm quite happy just moving it around and finding different movements instead. Oh, we're back where we started. <laughs> I thought I was way further away from that. So we're in there, we come out. The only move that seems to make sense then is to immediately twist it to here. And we can't move up and down, but we can move this way and this way. We go that way. No, we're just going back to where we were. I'm trying to figure out where the next move was, and it's a twist. So we come to here, come to here, and then we twist in there. And it seems like that so far, there's only one route out, if that makes sense. I'm also trying to just move the silver bit, just so it's easier to track where I've been, where I'm going, etc. We've got no movement from this position and that twist there seems too nice not to be the right one. Maybe this move here is a dead end so we don't come up and then twist from there. Maybe this is a dead end. I don't seem to be able to get anywhere from there. really want to apply force to this twist but that is nowhere near passing over that oh that position's new so we come out there we twist this way so we just made about four different moves they all feel right I'm just trying to remember where we're going. Reference point I'm using is this bit here, so I know we sort of come over the top and then left and then in and then there. Getting back to theirs should be fairly straightforward. Come over the top. got no movement when we get here. Oh, we can go to there. Hmm. 
<laughs> there we go. Wow, that, I really enjoyed that one. That was brilliant. Here we go. Really should have remembered that first position, or that last position even. Wow, that was a really quick way back into reassembling it. I think, I think to disassemble it, we took the long way around almost. Wow. Ha. Huh. Yeah, super quick that. What? Less than two minutes to put that back together. So there we go. Cast coil done. So there we go. Uh, a fairly straightforward one, there wasn't any surprises in there going into it, just looking at the puzzle from the box. It always looked like it was going to be a sequence of twists and separating the puzzle from there. Similar to the dot puzzle, the level 2 dot. 20 something minutes to take it apart and about 2 minutes to put it back together, it really wasn't that difficult. I am looking forward to figuring out the quickest way because I assumed when I took it apart that I went the only way possible. I tried to do it logically and sort of go backwards to when I found a dead end. But when I put it back together, it, it seemed, it didn't seem to follow the same uh, way that it came apart in reverse, if that makes sense. It seemed putting it back together that there was a, a much quicker way back to the start. So I am looking forward to finding that quickest easiest way out. Now in terms of difficulty, where does it rank on our easiest to hardest leaderboard, for lack of a better term? Now if we start where where I said it was similar to it, so it's similar to the dot puzzle, there's aspects of the dot puzzle that I actually found tougher than this one, but I'm not too sure about that because I really want it to be higher, which is not the point of this scale of us. We have to be objective, we have to, right, it deserves to sit here. But where is here? That is the question. So let's do what we usually do, let's work our way up. Harder than the loop, harder than the, uh, what's that one called? The Ogier puzzle, harder than the spiral, harder than the news, harder than the S and S, harder than the viol, oh, is it even harder than the violon? If we skip past the violon, that is the dot puzzle. Now, is the coil harder than, I genuinely don't think it is. I think the level two dot puzzle is harder than this level four coil. Mainly because the coil, there's nothing surprising. It literally, it moves exactly how you would expect it to move and it solves exactly how you would expect it to solve. The dot was harder to put back together for me. And also there was a few moves on the dot that had, that weren't expected. And back to the violon, I think the violon's harder. I think the level four coil is easier than the level three violon. So there it is. There is the coil puzzle and it's ranking. It is now the lowest ranking level four puzzle that we have done so far. To think that the coil and the UFO are ranked the same is absurd in my opinion. I think the coil based on that should be lower than a level four and I think the UFO should be higher. But that is just my opinion. If your opinion differs, please let me know what your opinion is of the cast coil and its ranking in the comments below. Thank you very much for being here. If you want to see me solve more new honey armors or these for the first time and the step-by-step -step solutions for every single one of them, then click my face here. You can go straight to those videos just over there and I will see you next time. Peace.